Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and today I'm inviting you to come with me to pick up all the engine parts that we're going to need to rebuild for Project Dale here. So we're going down to my dad's and we're going to do some snooping around. Let's go. So we've made it down to dad's place here and we're starting to pull parts out of the corner here. And we've got all kinds of stuff here. We've got rocker arms and springs, oil pumps, distributors. I see some camel hump heads in there. Full oh, main block. Two blocks. Two cranks. Camshaft. Don't know what it is. I can't tell. I don't know what it is. Dog came with it. So it looks dirty, but it's just, yeah. I think, yeah, it will straight off, so. Yeah. Still the timing gear up. Another one in there. So as far as you know, they're both the same engine? As far as I know. So I guess the story on these two engines is that they belong to my uncle, which is dad's brother. And when he passed away, I think it was back in 07, uh, his wife was looking to clean things up and there was a couple of these engines kicking around. So she asked dad if he wanted them. He took them and here they've been sitting ever since. Uh, looks like we've got uh, rings, bearings, main bearings, pistons. new pistons, flat tops. The double reliefs in them. Those are 30 over pistons, so that tells you something. One of the engines must be 30 over. The story I got was somebody put it together and didn't like the way it ran or didn't run right or something. But might have been, could have been smoking too much wacky tobacco. <laughs> so those two blocks in there, I think they're both four bolt mains. They're both all greased up. Just hard grease now, though. Yeah. I'll break cleaner, clean it off, probably.
Now on those double hump heads, is there a left and a right? No, they're all the same. Because that's got three, looks like three mounting holes on this end. And that one's only got one. Right, right there. And that one's only got one. Okay, so they're newer double hump then. The old, the old double humps didn't have them three holes. Yeah, so that's a good thing then. Yeah. So for those of you guys who don't know what the double hump uh, heads are, they're a higher flow head than your standard one. We'll check the casting numbers and get all the specs on them. But one of the reasons why I wasn't going to go with the double humps was because they didn't have the accessory mounts on the end of the head. Well, based on what we're seeing there, it looks like they do. So I didn't want to have to lose air conditioning to get better performance out of these heads, but we just might be able to use them. Okay. Looks like they've been playing, maybe too. We got herding seats in them, or can you tell? You can't see, but it's well, something's showing in there. there. Looks like they've been cut. Mm. Maybe I would say not. So they'd have to be done. See, that's quite pricey. Well, they, I had them done in mine, in the Chrysler. And again, see like a step there? Yep. I'm getting cleaned I up. I think they are done. Yep. You see a ridge around the outside here. I think they have been done. Look at this one. See it stepping it up there? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a step up. I think they've been done, yeah. Yep. I don't know where the valves are. Do you see them valves? Valves anywhere? No valves. I didn't see them. Yeah, looks alright. Looks good there. Don't know why they took them apart. But I'd make a guess. Yes, you make a pretty good engine on it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that. I forgot about that, I guess, but that's that's a late model. So that's yeah, that's the back of the head there for the which would be the driver's side. Yeah. So if that's the same as that one, it's got the mounts on it. We, we might uh, yeah, is, we might luck out. This is the let's see what the other end looks like. Yeah, they're all the same, see? Yeah. So I need the driver's side. That's where the AC is mounted. Well, there's three holes in this one. Yeah, three on that one. Well, the holes are in the wrong place, aren't they? Wonder why. But no reason why you couldn't tap and put them in there, though. Yep. Spots are all there. Well, if you yours bolt on, which side? I don't know. I'd, both have, I'd have to take a look. Usually, need both sides. Yeah, because the alternator's mounted up high on the pasture side. But still got the new type seals on. Usually, you have these small those umbrella ones. Yeah. Type. That one doesn't have any. So somebody's done something. So let's get a casting number. It looks like three seven zero. We'll have to. Uh, I'll look those up and I'll put the information on the screen so you guys can see what they are. Well, we've got this block here. Four bolt main. We got a bucket full of bolts, box full of parts. We got two cranks, a couple of camel hump heads, and some other miscellaneous parts here. So I guess now we just got to get them loaded up and uh, get them into the shop, figure out what we've got, and go from there. Well guys, I am more than excited to see all those parts there and practically everything that we're gonna need to make this at least a 300 horsepower V8 engine for old Dale. So having said all that, we are gonna bring you guys along for every step of that build. Thanks for jumping in here and joining me on this video. 
Keep in mind, Car Guy and Six Fan Show is on every Thursday at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. A couple of car guys talking cars with other car guys. You're not going to want to miss it. My co-host is Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. His link is the second one in the description box below. We alternate shows every week from my channel to his. I hope you can join us. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.